Okay, folks, I want to discuss in this video about setting up the default recipe collections for when somebody joins our website. I want to recap over what I did in the previous video about setting up the different features in the collections because it's quite complicated and I just want to show the procedure for that. I thought it'd be helpful. So here we are. We have a brand new member called Jonathan after signing up and I'm going to show you how to set this now in the WordPress recipe maker settings. So you can see here there's nothing in the inbox and that's because I haven't gone to the recipes yet and I haven't added any but if I go to a recipe here It'll go save to recipe box and I can save it to the inbox like that and then go to collections and there it is there. And I can rename actually, change the name. I want to FAV or your favorites. So you can actually change, you can set the default name for that actually when somebody joins as well you can set that to favorite so they don't have to change it themselves i'll cover that later in the when i'm going through the settings for the wordpress recipe maker plugin but the thing is when you go to when you go to the thing is if you put like i don't know 50 collect lots of if somebody collects lots of recipes in the favorites there that add collection and when they're creating a collection, say call it five day favorites. Okay, so what they can actually do is, this is quite clever the way it's that you don't add from collection favorites. And we can see that we can actually build a, a five day meal plan from our favorites. And then we need to add a column and name it to, we change recipes there to It'll be Monday. So I've actually, what I've done there is I've created a blank template. So I'd actually delete that. It would be add collection and say I want to go, I'll use a template five day, one main meal a day and seven day, one main meal a day and then seven day, three meals a day. So I'm going to show you how to set up these templates. I'm going to go through it. So, but I'm just showing you here that if somebody the procedure for this, they're going to go five day, five day dinner faves. So they've used the template. So the five days are there and it's just one item and they can go add from collection. And if they have lots of different collections, they'll all come up here, but they'll have a collection there called favorites. And I just put in Indian spice recipe. So hopefully you understand the flow that i'm on about there which is really really good to get people interacting with your site you know explain that to them that they can set up a favorites collection and while they're browsing your site the week before they're planning their meal plans they can have tons of their favorites that they've tried maybe just once off and they can build plans from the favorites is the idea with that so what I want to do then, we will, if you notice, I'll just delete. I'll go back to what we had when we started. I'll just um, remove item so that we know. So that's what we started with and that's what I wanted to show you how to set that up because when they come in and it's all new technology, they'll need help understanding it. So they might want just dinner ideas for five days for the week something simple like that and we can actually we can set the default servings as well actually there's another thing that i need to cover there but yeah so that's back here I'm going to show you now we to edit it that's the same collection, five plant-based vegan specials for dinner and the description is there. If we want to edit the description, it's there, that button there. To show nutritional facts, that's there and that'll come up. So 
they can do that but yeah so if i want to build a five day plan i'll cancel changes go back and create save collection five day sta or starter plan just so we know what it is and we'll go in there and we need to change the name there we'll call it monday it'll be t t u e s t a y oh tuesday w d n e s d a Wednesday T H U R S D A I Thursday F I Friday. So there's our five days and we're just putting in it'll be dinner. So it'll be one column and then we want to put in search recipes. So it'll be there. We're going to give them the recipes is the thing our five favorites what else have i here i have pumpkin p-u-m-k-i-n so but um yeah so folks i'll just add the same recipe i don't need to, to uh keep them but you go through your recipes and build a five-day plan for them it's as simple as that and then you want to save it and then we go back the five day starter plan is here at the top it's the last one we created and to make it so that they have just one there when they join the site we hit default like that it's it's that button there so they'll have it then it won't be here now because it's only for new members when they sign up i believe yeah so that's how to do that that's covered now you give them one default plan now the next option is blank templates add collection and so i have five day one meal a day template and i want to create i have seven day one meal seven day three meals a day so i need five day five days three meals a day i can actually to save time i can duplicate that template and we'll call it five day five day three meals a day template template so we actually we want this to be blank so we need to go there remove item remove item and remove item it's five day three meals so we have dinner we need to add another column two columns actually or oh, it's not add item sugar it's oh add group i'm always getting that mixed up so it'll be breakfast and it'll be breakfast lunch and you might put in snacks as well to s-n-a-c-k-s so there we are and we want to go to here and we want to go to move up to put them in the correct order breakfast dinner lunch snacks save collection go back and now we want to go not push to all we want to make it a template there and it'll refresh so that when we go back here we'll have four options now we were missing five day three meals a day refresh the page we go back add collection and it's there now five day three meals a day template I'll just leave that name just so we can check it 
and you can see it's there now monday tuesday wednesday breakfast dinner lunch snacks thursday and friday so you can see that's correct so that's the different option there and we have the add pre-made collection so i have get fit weight loss seven day three meals a plan so that is the weight loss where is it there now um i'll be able to tell over here because it'll be it'll be under quick ad yeah so here we are i've put um i haven't put the recipes in actually i should have but like yeah this is like a, a set plan so you would have your red handle so you would have all your recipes in there for the weight loss plan for the seven days and so it's actually it's useful like if they don't want to go to the hassle of building the plan you can give them ready done plans so you can do it that way here it is get fit weight loss and to give them the option of having it as a quick made plan there it is you want to click on the quick ad at the bottom so just for example i have a sample menu for father's day at the bottom and if i add that to quick ad like that they'll now have the two options sample menu for father's day and to get fit weight loss so it really depends on the niche you're in like if you're into more fitness stuff you were running fitness programs you would probably be using that so the thing is if you were running weekly coaching with which set menus and stuff a set plan each week you would use the last feature that i'm going to show which is you would go in and create your meal plan again so the great thing is if you're building a meal plan you don't have to set up the columns and groups again you can just duplicate seven day three meals a day template for yourself duplicate it there you go and we're going to go seven day three meals change it to set menu set menu for first week of uh, june like lower caps and lower upper case there but um it's grand but you would build the menu now from the blank template for yourself you put in your dinners there uh hummus something like that so you would give them the, the full menu for the week and then you would push it to all your members so as i said if you're running training program there we have for the first week of june and so we want a quick ad we want to give it to everyone that's in our membership and there we have it that'll come up now five day seven day seven day It should come up quick ad the name why did that happen now seven a the fact that it's marked as a template as well shouldn't matter seven day oh i pressed the wrong button silly me i had a quick add it's push to all because i want it in the list view so good to make a mistake anyway but there should be a lot more recipes there but hopefully you'll get the gist there it is now seven day three meals set menu for first week of june so that's really fun folks and everything like uh, to use your email marketing with this as well you can get them hyped up you know that you're going to send them 
this uh, their their set menu training menu later in the week so send them an email early in the week to say what you have planned whatever and then they can log into their recipe box on their mobile phone when we're in the shopping center and see that everything's laid out for them you know and it doesn't have to be fitness just them um, just help people be organized busy moms with babies and busy families and everything like that you know so people people do need uh, help to make better culinary decisions and time management and stuff so you know it's really it's a great feature in the wordpress recipe maker plugin i got interested myself in this i'm an ex-chef and that i was watching what people were doing like clean food dirty guard over in america they sell plant-based meal plants they're huge like so and uh, yeah so i studied uh, digital marketing and stuff as well like well i left chefing years ago but so i complimented brought the skills from cooking and web development that i studied together to start doing this stuff so a bit of my story but hopefully that gives you better clarity now on setting this up the features in the recipe collections there because it is a wee bit complicated and that hopefully will bring clarity to it so okay folks thanks very much see you in the next video